Hey friends, the task manager has a tab called the performance tab. Now let me show you this tab first. Search for task manager in the window search bar and open the task manager window. We have a tab on the list on the left hand side called the performance tab. Now why is this tab important? Because this tab shows the dynamic part of our system resources. For example, I know that my system has 16 GB of RAM and I can check it in the system information bar. But that is the uh, static part. But how much of RAM is being used at a point of time, like 49% of my RAM is under use. So that can be checked in the performance section of the task manager. And this makes it very, very important. However, a few users said that they are unable to find the performance tab in the task manager. Now there's a reason for it. First thing, when we open the task manager, now in my case, it's already expanded, but for a lot of users, they have the compressed form of the task manager, this form. And in this form, you have to click on this uh, menu button at the top right corner, the navigation button to navigate to the performance tab. Otherwise it won't be visible. So this is one part. And the second one is that this performance tab was introduced recently after updates. So make sure that your Windows computer is updated to the latest version. Right click on the start button and select settings on the menu. Go to the Windows update tab. Click on check for updates in the right pane. Uh, in some cases, the system files may be broken. So search for command prompt in the Windows search bar and click on run as administrator in the right pane to open the elevated command prompt window. Now in the elevated command prompt window, type the command SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter to invoke the SFC scan. Once this is done, uh, you can reboot your system and the performance tab should be back. But if nothing else works, then you can restore your system to an earlier date. Search for recovery in the window search bar and go to the recovery uh, option. Click on open system restore and now I don't have system protection. So I'll configure it. And uh, if I have, uh, let's say, system restore point, I'll proceed with it, but I don't have it right now. So I'm creating one. Anyway, click on system restore, click on next and select the restore point, click on next and then click on finish to initiate the system restore process. Uh, hopefully this should fix your problem. If yes, then please subscribe to the channel and if not, then let us know in the comment section of this video so that we could improve further. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.